<laughs> Enzo. Okay, so these guys have got a ponytail that they want to sell. A ponytail is not a ponytail. It is a plant. It is a tree. And it's big. At the bottom, it's, well, just under a meter in size. And it's heavy. So where we put it down, we're going to have to put it down. And they've only got one. So I'm going to have to see where I can put it. And they've been driving around with it for two or three days at the back of their truck. And it's something that is, it doesn't fit in just anywhere. It is a little big and it's difficult to, well, to, to plant it. Actually, it's easy to plant it. It's just where, because once you put it down there, it's going to be quite heavy. But it will look nice. I'm just trying to see the perfect place and I don't really want to put anything well, right here in the way because it is preventing me from making videos about the tigers if there's too many leaves and stuff it's quite high I'll show you guys what it looks like I'm just trying to walk through and find a place where we could plant it where do you want it Enzo? do you want it inside here by you? <laughs> I think he wants it inside here by him now just getting the Jago up. I'm actually starting to think maybe I should put it right here where this cycad is and transplant this one to a place where it's going to have a better time. <laughs> because the tigers, well, if those leaves are off, it's going to be just fine. But yeah, this is not easy. This is probably one of the most difficult things to do, is to d decide where do you want a tree that you're not going to move. Because we cut the grass, we open it up, we actually plant it. So it's not just a thing. Enzo, where are we going to put it? <laughs> now let me get them this side first and then I'll decide at the last minute. Sometimes you just can't make the decision right up to that last minute. And then you have to make it. Yeah, Enzo, let's do that. <laughs> okay, I'm calling the boys. They must come to this side. <laughs> you can see the season changed yesterday. Because look at the leaves. Enzo! <laughs> I think Diego is listening to me. And I think Enzo might also be listening today. I just get that idea. Let's see. Yeah, here he comes. So now they must just go through. Come, Diego. We'll just see if they are coming through. <laughs> Gonna take your time. Here comes Enzo. Diego! Diego! He's just looking through the little hole in the wall. <laughs> Look at that! I think that's the first time I see him do that. He's never done that before. I think he just noticed it. The cats are around here. Yeah, he was looking through a little hole right there in the wall. Angle. It's so small. There it is. <laughs> Diego. Okay. If they are going to go through, I can just close them up and life will be great again. <laughs> Enzo. Right. Let me see what I can do to lure them back. It's not the easiest thing in the world. If you want to get your tiger to move to a other location all by himself. <laughs> Just look at that. Jack! 
tech is preventing me from operating my phone. I just want to take a picture of him like that. No, not going to happen. Okay, they are going through. Seems like I'm going to be lucky with this one. Dini must just come through as well. If I just see them both on that side, I'll quickly run and close up. Right, there's Enzo. Oh, there's Diego. He wasn't going to go right through, but he is through. It's done. Right, let me get down to everything that I was going to be doing. <laughs> there you can see how high it is. It is absolutely huge and it is heavy. And if we're going to put it inside there, well, I guess that is the perfect spot for it. Right there. Because I can't really see the tigers at the back of it because they are in the deep end of the pool so it will definitely be nice for them to have it they can even have those branches right at the top of their jungle gym so I think that is where we should plant it yeah let's do that if it's not right well we can always move it some other time but that seems to me like the best place now Oh, watch that side, watch that side, no? Yeah, Piet, oh, come back, also. As that thing afkomt hier, so I can you see it, man. So the boys does not know it yet, but they just got a new tree. Just look at that. Can you believe it? They are going to love it. It's a little heavy and we put it in the ground, not very deep, just about less than a foot, but it is strong. I can see it's been abused a bit through the years. I patched it up with some mud just everywhere where I could find the worst areas. But it's going to love it. New life right here at the zoo house. So the boys are going to be coming through a little bit later. The first time that I'm using the filter system for the pool to just filter the water quickly. And it's already making a difference. But it was different this time. It was actually possible because the tigers didn't, well, do their number two in the water. Or well, not that I saw. But now we're just running it through the filter quickly and it's going to be great. So the boys are going to come and enjoy their new tree, their clean water. And I was just walking through here. I have to say, if I had to be locked up in any place, this would be where I would want to be locked up. <laughs> this is, this is a, a jungle, perfect for the tigers. And uh, I'm not even talking being a tiger and locked up here. I could just live out here in my backyard. It's amazing out here. So, 
Yeah, there's a lot of trees and shade and shelter and everything that you need. So I really feel that these tigers should be happy here. Yeah? I think they are. Well, I can see it every day. And uh, yeah, we'll just see how happy they are about their new tree. <laughs> yeah, can't wait to see their reactions. Okay, we just brought her in quickly to make sure if she's male or female. And look at this, look what I found. <laughs> it is absolutely amazing. He was just lying down here. And I gave him a good scratch and now he's awake. <laughs> yeah. And I got so many of them and then I see this little one here and I'm thinking, maybe I should just take him home. <laughs> this is a pet shop, but I don't think he is a pet. I think he is just, no, to be honest, I think he is a pet. I don't think he's for sale. How can this be for sale? He's amazing. <laughs> Yeah, this little cat is amazing. <laughs> they say that he was just dropped off here. Apparently he was biting the children, but I don't think so. I think those children, children were looking for it. <laughs> if you look at this little face, it is absolutely beautiful. We're just waiting for the little hedgehog to show us what she for him is she's not turning around quick enough but that's okay because i've got a little cat to keep me busy with right here <laughs> the tree is planted it's starting to get dark the pool is clean i ran the filter system it's okay I'll check if it's going to be perfectly blue tomorrow. I think the chemicals just needs to start working. I just want to get Zach and Sachis out. Zach, Sachis! I just checked if there's any other cats or animals in here. There's nothing. It's easier when it's getting a little bit dark because you see their eyes immediately. Right, now, Zach and Sachis needs to go through. We can just open up here for them. Cats stay there. Tigers can come out. They're gonna go check out the new tree. Just open it quickly there. There they run. And they check this one out first. Diego? They really like finding new stuff. Come and see this. They haven't even seen their new tree yet. It's getting a bit dark. I was a bit late. I will have to probably make a video about that tomorrow. I'll do what I can right now. Enzo is right there. He's seen it. Yeah. Whoa, just look at Enzo. Can you believe it? He's absolutely huge. I haven't seen him stand up like that in a long time. You only realize how big they really are when they start to stand up against something. I was actually worried that he might just push that tree over, but I don't think so. We did plant it a little deeper than, than necessary. Just look at him, he's going to get up again. Checking it out. I'm just a little late, but I'm sure he's going to stand up against it tomorrow again. <laughs> Diego is checking it out as well. Diego? They're going to check it out. Sun is setting way over there. So it's going to be dark within the next two or three minutes. It's 
getting darker earlier and earlier but at least most of the people that's watching my channel in the northern hemisphere well the sun is gonna start heating that place up soon <laughs> don't you worry about it so I'm taking the cold with the knowledge of knowing that you guys are going to have a great spring. And there goes Enzo. <laughs> okay, it's getting too dark now. I'm going to go get their food quickly and feed them. Yeah, that'll teach me not to be that late, but I didn't realize the sun is setting so much earlier these days. Okay, so you don't always know where the cats are, but sometimes they climb into the skylight. Somehow. Yeah. Yeah, she's just taking a nap right there in the skylight. Hmm. That means there's a hole in the roof. <laughs> but in any case, it's just one of those things. Hey, look here, I've got a lot of skylights. I can actually have more cats now. Because they can just sleep in the skylights. Yeah. <laughs> There's always something positive about everything. So. <laughs> yeah, they're all just running around. And the boys. They are just still sleeping where they always are. Maybe I should just put in skylights there for them to sleep in. Hmm. Yeah, Diego is still somewhere here in the bushes, in their little jungle. Oh yeah, let me get going. Yeah, it's just one of those things. Cats sometimes sleep in the skylines. The boys are up. They are ready to eat. They are just a <laughs> roaring over there. I just heard them and I thought, let me go and see if i can get them to roar right on the camera but i don't think they're gonna but in any case it's a beautiful day yeah it's starting to rain a little but this is a different kind of rain it rain while the sun is shining okay there it goes so there it's gone but in any case enzo <laughs> Enzo going for a walk and Diego just slowly waking up, getting ready to eat. Diego does not want to get wet. He is just lying down there, watching the rain. Some rain just falling. Sun is still shining. The Diegos are all up here. All just hanging around here, having fun. Little bunny always ready to play Katya but Diego just woke up getting in the mood of eating he will probably be up walking right around here within the next few minutes with Enzo ready to eat so I'll be getting their food ready it's just one of those things that you do constantly <laughs> but they like it they enjoy their food I'm not gonna feed him too much. I'm just cutting down a little bit. Enzo, look at Enzo over there. Standing up against that tree. When you see that tree move like this, you wonder if it's gonna last. But <laughs> I think it will. It's quite heavy. I think that's heavier than Enzo. So at least that will help to keep it up straight. Dove is right there, coming to check out the tigers and just eating some of the seeds that came from that tree. But in any case, I have to fix up a few things here. Right over there. Those poles are a bit old. They've been in there for about six years. And I think two of them broke off right at the bottom but I'll just fix them up and they will be good again well let me get going gotta feed all these animals they are gonna want to eat and there's no way of just telling them to wait a bit longer 
Yeah, but he sure can play. Right, so it is raining. If it can rain like this every day this time, I will have an extra day every week. What do I mean by that? Well, I have to water all of these plants and trees and things. And if it rains like this, it saves me an hour every single time. So. It's quite welcome. I actually am very impressed that it's raining right now. <laughs> I think I might just be able to feed all the animals an hour earlier now that it is raining. <laughs> These lot are just playing, having fun. Little bunny, she does not stop for one minute. <laughs> but in any case, raining really nicely not too much just right and the tigers well there they are they are just dry as can be just looking at the rain yeah maybe they also get fed up with the water eventually they want it but they don't want it all the time so yeah they're gonna be watching the rain until they eat Okay, all the cats ready to eat, the dogs and the tigers. Diego is just getting up, Enzo is still inside there, they know that they are going to be fed pretty soon. Oh no, this is Enzo right here, Diego is the one at the back. No, <laughs> this is Diego, Enzo is the one at the back. Yeah, just goes to show, you can still mix them up even if you see them a lot. But Diego is ready to eat, he's not coming this side for nothing, he's gonna be happy to know that I'll be feeding them within the next few minutes. Let's just quickly say hi to him, Diego! Are you ready to eat Diego? Right, let me go get your food, you'll be eating in the next few minutes. Time to feed the tigers, it's raining outside, perfect, it's just saving me at least an hour to an hour and a half if I had to give all the plants and trees water. All the cats are running with, but they don't go outside because it is wet. So, today it's easy for me to go out. Enzo, Diego, they are ready to eat. Diego is just checking what is on the menu there. He's already got his taste buds working. I'm just going to stand over here a little further so I'm not in the rain. There goes one of the Diego's. Let's see that. I'm quickly going to first try and make a video of Enzo in super slow motion. So I'm going to quit this one. See you guys now. try to get him with that first jump he gave I missed there was no way of getting him done I will have to quickly try and find the right way to exactly press the button at the right time because it seems like it's only taking that whole shot for well not for a second it's maybe probably a quarter of a second or half a second but you have to be really accurate if you want to do that Diego is way right over there. I'm going to try to throw him one. Yes, there it is. Is he going to be able to get it? Okay, Diego, don't worry. I can throw it even closer to you. <laughs> he does not feel like he wants to. 
day I basically hear them. <laughs> ah, let me just throw it to you over there. We'll be happy to get it. Yeah. Let me throw this one straight right in between there. That's it, I got him. <laughs> Enzo as well. <laughs> That's where Enzo is sleeping now. There's two right by him. Oh, this is not fun. Grandma cat just said in cat, who wants to eat like this? <laughs> Little opal right there where she was the day when the rain was really coming down. All that ice. And she was sitting there. <laughs> that was her hiding spot. And she went back to it right now. I'm going to open up for her. Just throw into another one. Right now it's raining. Actually, very nice. Changes the whole climate immediately. You tend to be worried that it's too dry for all these trees that I planted just the other day, and then this happens and you feel that relief. I'm just going to throw two of them out here in the rain for later. The rest, Enzo and the Yale. So he's chasing Diego off. Don't worry, Diego. Here comes one right over there where he needs it. But Enzo is watching him. He's gonna go get it. There's two for him. Right, and I'm done. Throw another two for him. Just get it. Diego. Right. Now to get out of the rain. I'll be giving that for the tree. Maybe this tree becomes a cannibal. We'll see. I don't think so. Because they need will have to eat other trees, I guess. So, <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean. <laughs> yes, it's raining. And it is thunder. Lightning. <laughs> Listen to that, not to that, that is Daisy making her thunder like box. I mean the thunder's got nothing on her box straight into your ear. But in any case, just spoke to a friend of mine in Cape Town, he said it's dry as a bone over there. Here in Gauteng province, that's where we are. It's raining like you can't believe. I don't know what the traffic is going to be like, but I can belly but I can definitely tell people to take their time on going home today don't be hasty well let me get going everybody's fed and it seems like this is the end of the day thanks for watching
watching guys hope you enjoyed that like always uh, 